Gracias, Padre. Spirit of God is, is, is in this place. Surely in this place. And the reason why I'm, I'm so touched by this brother, I mean, we talk, he shares testimony with me. And we have similar testimonies where this brother was basically on the street digging for his next meal out of nowhere. And I tell you that. God always uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the words. And the thing I love with God is that God always reach into the garbage pan. Hallelujah. And pick me up when we are nothing. And make us into something. My God. It hurts so much when people, when people, when Christian people behave like they are all that. And what did they say? We know Jesus Christ. We are nothing at all. We know the blood of Christ. Jesus, hallelujah! Jesus, don't behave like you could save yourself. It's not your righteousness. Hallelujah. By grace we are saved. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want for you to turn your Bibles. We're going to go into this word real quick tonight. My God, I'm so happy to see so much people here tonight with such a short arm. Um, advertisement i mean you guys are so 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 loyal you are so loud for christ my god my god if we were to do something like this in jamaica and get a house full like this we have to be promoting it for our own three months back i'm telling you because you see one of the things that is mashing up the church and, and, and stop the anointing from flow the way it should flow is something that they call the spirit of familiarity, my God. When people get so familiar with the Holy Spirit and people get so familiar with the priest and people get so familiar with the prophet, it's like you can't even bless them no more, my God. I will never get familiar with, 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 with the anointing. I will never get familiar with God because God is God, my God. Hallelujah. Bless God. I want for you to turn your Bibles to Proverbs. I pray tonight, um, if you just sit with me, I, I, I just still, my God, I'm just still in awe. Jesus, could you just find Proverbs for me? Because God is so good. Proverbs uh, 8, 32, going to be where we're reading 32. When I just come to church and I didn't know how to find Proverbs, I would part the Bible in two. It's right in the middle. <laughs> God bless you tonight. You are such a lovely set of people. I love you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to be reading verse 32 through to 35. Now therefore, honor unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso, whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Let me read that again. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and obtain favor from the Lord. When I read a passage of scripture, it's talking about me. Whosoever find it, God. Find it. Whosoever find it, me. God said, once you find it, my God, it said you obtain favor instantly, my God. And I just want to use the topic tonight of my message. You are blessed and highly favored by God. I want for you to turn to the person beside and say, neighbor. You are blessed and highly favored by God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I really want to thank God tonight. Thank God for, you know, for all the people that he has put in my life to use me. I want to be very straightforward with you. I know I'm kind of twanging a little bit, but I soon get radical. That's how I normally start out. I'm a creeper. I start off very nice like I've been to, to college and by the school and then I just broke out and then little Jamaican start come out. 
But let me tell you, I, I've never been to no Bible school. I've never been to no Bible school. As a matter of fact, I was kicked out of every school that I attend. Um, when you come into church and they receive it, they call it, they call it the right and a fellowship. But when you're in a school and they kick you out, they call it the left leg of fellowship. So I got the left leg of fellowship every school I go to. I, I didn't learn, learn, learn not much. Um, I, I, I was dumb as a bat. Couldn't read, couldn't read, you know, didn't go to no college. When God saved me, everything started turning around. I think a radical U turn, you know. And as I said before, I, I didn't know how to, how to prepare sermons and put sermons together. I didn't know how to do an exegesis, break down scriptures and break it down to the simplest form. I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know nothing about no theology. I don't know nothing about no, 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 um, all these stuff that they teach in Bible school. I can't even pronounce some of the word them, you know. But, 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 um, I, God has hooked me up with some friends that they are great Bible scholars. And they decided to teach me, and so they took me in, and they teach me, and they said, "This is how you do a, a outline of a sermon." They teach me how to do the sermon. Yes. Uh, I, I said, "Then, oh, you guys know how to find all the scriptures? Them only the heads are good. They only memorize." They yes. said, "No, no, no, we don't memorize everything. There's something that they call a straw concordance. Yeah. Everything that we want, we go there, and what we can't find, we Google it." So with all these technologies we have nowadays, you know, we know how to find scriptures very easy, you know. There's a website they call www.biblegateway.com. If you can't read, it, the computer will read the Bible to you. So nobody have no excuse now to get the word of God. Even if you are illiterate, you can go to our website and that, 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 that technology that man put in place, that God give man that knowledge to put in place, that will read the Bible to you. My God. And so that's where I get my education, right on the street side. I've been to the street side college. Hallelujah. Amen. That's where I get my PhD. My God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I have a I have a degree in ghetto ghettoology. Ghettoology. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sharing some stuff with you tonight, my God. And and when I'm preaching, I I don't like spectators when I'm preaching. Because when I come in an atmosphere like this, just as oh I I you want to receive, I want to receive too. And, and, and as you pull, I have to be pulling from heaven. Hallelujah. So if you pull on heaven with me, it will be much easier. I like when I'm preaching, you preach with me. Hallelujah. I don't like to be talking to people and, and they're ignoring me. One, one, one of the things that hurt me the most is when I turn to my wife and say, baby, I need some sweets, and she ain't looking at me. Okay, I'm going to be radical. You're going to know me in a while. You're going to know me in a little while. My baby's flying up on, on Tuesday. My birthday is Monday. I said, baby, why you didn't come Monday? She said, oh, well, she couldn't get no flight Monday, but she coming up Tuesday. So I said, okay, I'm getting it belated. Bless God. Amen. So she's taking a gift for me that I can't share with nobody. Bless God. Hallelujah. I like you guys already. I just like you already. Loving already. Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Am I behaving too bad? No. Oh, if you believe I was behaving bad, you know, I was going to tell you to leave because you don't hear nothing yet. Hallelujah. But well, bless God. But we don't want to bless God tonight for all the young people in the house. All the young people. Let me see all the young people wave. All the young people wave. No, I'm expect everybody to wave, you know. Let me all the young people wave. I don't see no old people in here tonight. Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God, bless God. I was told that there's a lady here tonight. She 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 has lost her sight, but she's here tonight. Where is she? That's you, mommy. You can't see me, but you can hear my voice, right? Okay, you can't hear my voice. You spoke to me this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Stretch out your two hands. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, bless her, Father God. Father God, bless her right now. Father, we believe that you are the God that healed thee. Father God, we believe that you can give her back her sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, is there anything to add for your God? There is nothing to add, God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, Father, we extend our faith right about now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Elisha God. 
you're watching Break Loose TV with Reverend Gaudi Gaudi. We'll be right back. Well, it's the minister Gaudi Gaudi. So you're watching Break Loose TV. Bless straight out of Israel's children. Gaudi, you don't know. Gaudi Gaudi, you don't know. Say, you don't know. You Gaudi Gaudi. Are you? Bless up one more time. Every time, set it, bless it, respect it. Up, when I upset you, I forget it. I forget it. I forget it. Uncle Spec, to Spec, Chris, forget aspect. Check it. Don't talk. Hey, this is Mervin, and you watching Break Loose TV with Minister Gotti Gotti. This word real quickly tonight, hallelujah. I believe that God is going to save some people tonight. I believe that people is going to be healed. I got to believe that people are going to be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The reason I choose this topic tonight is because this topic really fit my lifestyle. Because I was a right off kid, my God. No one look up to me, no one want me, no one want to receive me. Nobody business with my Bible tell me that when mother and father for see you, Jesus Christ will never forsake. Jesus Christ, you make your bones right now. My God, I want to tell somebody that my greater days, hallelujah. Some people say I remember the good old days, but I don't want to remember the good old days because those good old days that you call good old days, those are the days when I used to thief, those are the days when I used to fornicate, those are the days when I used to lie, those are the days when I used to live in poverty, those are the days when I used to live on to mountain. I say my best days are not behind me, but my best days is ahead. already. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. The first way that favor will be unleashed yeah. in your life Amen. is by your desire for wisdom. Yeah. As the Bible says, in all things get wisdom. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I say, I say, I say, I say, if you don't know something, it will hurt you. People say, I'm, 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 I'm. what you know can't hurt you. Lie. Hallelujah. I say, what you don't know, that's what hurts you. Hallelujah. Because if you don't know the thing, you just don't know the thing. But if you know the thing, you're aware of the thing. My God. I say, in all things, get wisdom, get knowledge, get understanding. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, say, when I was in the gutter, I didn't have no wisdom. I didn't have no understanding. I didn't have no knowledge. I didn't know who God is. My God. But the Bible tells me that in Proverbs 1, verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I said, to fear God, and you get wisdom. I said, the fear of God will be unleashed upon your life. My God, why do we need fear? The Bible said, hallelujah, they said, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, and in fear with God and men. In Luke 2, and verse 52, so he tells me that if Jesus Christ needs fear, you also need fear. Because Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I also need the fear of God upon my life in the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. My God. And Luke said that Jesus grew in fear. And, in, and, and not only with men, but with God. You must understand that fear with God is fear with man. Because if God is going to bless you with a Benz, he ain't going to see no Benz falling out of ever. My God. He's going to use somebody to give your Benz out for the chariot. If God is going to bless you with a house, he ain't going to see no house falling out of the sky. If God is going to give you some money, you ain't going to see no money falling out of the sky. God is going to use somebody to bless you. So if you need favor with God, I say you need favor with man. That's why you must treat all man equal and treat every man right. And if you treat people good, you will get the same treatment. Give God praise in this house tonight. Hallelujah! I want to tell you tonight uh, that favor has its benefits. My God. Somebody say favor of its benefits. My God. Favor 
as its benefit. I want to tell you about a young girl in the Bible. Every time I read the Bible and I look at this young girl life, I say, my God, she ate the jackpot. She didn't start out right, but she ate the jackpot in the end. I was talking about none other than a lady they call Ruth. My God, Ruth was living from Antimota. She was living in the field, picking up the scraps, eating leftover. You have some people you start and leftover, but I come to tell you that when you're feeding and leftover, and you feel like that's your destiny, it's not your destiny because God has sent in a store in fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to tell a single lady in this house tonight, it might seem like you're living off a scrap scissor because you're seeking for a good man all the day of your life. You want a mighty man of valor, and it seems like the mighty man of valor can't come. But I want to tell you this all on, continue to pick up your scrap scissor because Jesus Christ is going to send a boy as your way. And when that boy has come, I say you're going to win. from a servant to the owner I want to tell you that this week God is getting ready to flip the script and when I say God is getting ready to flip the script in my church back in Jamaica we call it a switch my God I said if you're coming to this building and the building is darker all you got to do is just flip the switch and once you flip the switch instantly the building is going to light up I said somebody life is dark right about now but God is getting ready to flip the switch hallelujah and when God flip the switch I said God is going to take your file off of the battle and he's going to put it to the top my God I said what the enemy meant for bad God is going to use it for good in the mighty name of Jesus I said I was messed up I was right off nobody want me but when nobody want me God will take come on somebody give him some glory in this house tonight hallelujah many places and people say oh that's God he got it the gospel artist don't call me no gospel artist I ain't no gospel artist I sing a few songs I'm a minister of God Jesus I don't want to be like the rest I want to be different I want to walk like me I want to talk like me hallelujah I don't want to be like nobody the only person I want to be like is Jesus hallelujah because let me tell you something you got some people nowadays they have an identity problem our young people they have an identity problem and that's why they can't walk into their purpose because they don't know who they are and who's they are my God I say everybody want to emulate somebody everybody want to imitate somebody and they are imitating the wrong set of people my God I say hurt me so much uh, when I walk the street of Brooklyn uh, or when I walk the street of Bronx uh, or when I walk the street of oh my God uh, I'm, I'm a Manhattan's and all over the US uh, and, and Canada and England and Africa and everywhere I go it hurt me so much uh, to see the little boys and wearing them pants underneath here so my God uh, and as I wear them pants underneath here so they feel like it look good uh, and they feel like it look cute uh, and when they walk in uh, they walk in like when a baby pampas full uh, and they walk in like this uh, and so they want them a try to pull it up. My God, I say keep your pants by your waist. I say keep your pants by your waist. My God, we are living in a society where homosexual is taking over the place. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to take over because Jesus is here and he will deliver and he will show up. And when he show up, he's going to show off. Hallelujah. Give God some praise in this house tonight. And so these young men, they walk with their pants underneath here and they don't know where it come from. Turn to your neighbor and say, find out the origin. Before you start imitating the thing. You see, people don't understand. I'm like a little Joseph. I was always in prison. I was put down in the pit. And when I go to prison, the first thing they do before they put you in a cell, they take your shoelace out. Because you can't go to prison with your shoelace. Because when you go to prison with your shoelace, my God, and, and you feel depressed, you will use your shoelace to hang yourself. They will take away your shoelace and they will take away your belt. Because your belt, you will use it to hang yourself. So because they have no belt in prison, my God, God, these young men pants shop all the way down here. It's originating from prison. And these little young men see it. They don't know where it comes from. And they want to be like right they're in prison. That's why so much of our young men end up in prison. Because it is a prison style. But we break every prison tonight. In the name of Jesus. Somebody give God some praise in this house tonight. Hallelujah.
Come on, just take a praise break. Just take a praise break. One thing we're going to do throughout this whole entire three night is just learn to worship God. We're going to worship God in this place. Somebody say hallelujah. And so this little young man, they walk with their pants all the way down here, sir. So. Advertising what? And many of these little young girls now, they're wearing their mini all the way up here. Advertising every single thing that God gave them as a gift. My God. And so they wear the mini up here. And when they're walking, they're walking like a model on the runway. Let me give you a preview. And they would step like this. it down now if you have to leave your house and keep holding down something why you put it on in the first place somebody said my god why is he picking on us oh god ain't picking on you i'm picking on the devil my god because if i get the devil out of your life you will start look like an african princess you will start wearing something to cover yourself properly in the name of jesus hallelujah How much Jamaican is in the house tonight? Yeah. And where you want to come from? But listen to me. My grandmother always tell me in Jamaica that this generation is nothing but a little all up and draw down. I said, Granny, you're out of order. How can you call in people picking me all up and draw them? She said, That's what they are. All up and draw them. So I said, Granny, oh my. Granny tell me that years ago. Next week, Monday, I'm going to be 40. And I didn't know what Granny talking about till now. Because when the young man they walk, they are all up. And the woman they are draw down. So all up and draw them are going now. But in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I said, we cheer them every all up and draw down spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody give God a praise in this house tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus.